Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different format. You'll see the complete video from the beginning to the end, but I'm able to show you what this looked like eight months ago when I stopped on it and why I stopped on it. So this is a piece of black oak that viewer David sent me. The wood was dry when I got it. It had few cracks in it. I turned it and got a general shape on it and I had to let it sit for three days. When I looked at it again, there was some big cracks in it and I really didn't trust turning it because they went way down in there. So let's rewind eight months back to the start and get going. This is a piece of black oak that viewer David sent me. Right now I'm just trying to get it in balance and then I'll pick a way to get it mounted in the lathe. This is going to be the top. Get a flat spot and a hole for a worm screw and I'll be back when it's mounted up in the lathe. Okay. I've got it on the worm screw. It's fairly balanced. Got a freshly sharpened 5 8 swept back bowl gouge and we're getting almost 500 RPM. Hopefully we get a little bit more once we get it a little more in balance. Let's keep doing that. I don't, I don't want those flat spots, plus it will help get rid of the cracks. How about 650, let's see what we can do here. That's pretty hard wood. It feels like I need to sharpen up. Oh, that's a pretty knot there. It's almost black. Just don't think we're going to get rid of those cracks. Today I'm going to pour a little bit of epoxy. I don't think you've ever seen me do it because I haven't done it on wood turnings. But this piece here is a piece of black oak given to me by a viewer David. He sent it from California. Well, I waited a long time on it and it started cracking so I thought I better get it open cracked a little bit more. I really want to save this piece so I'm going to fill this crack with epoxy and hopefully it works down in. So I'm going to clear up this time lapse that I just sent you through. I started this turning eight months ago in August 2020. Poured the epoxy about a month after that. It's now April 23rd 2021. This has been sitting on the shelf. I never have turned black oak and I didn't want to get rid of this. That's why I poured the epoxy in it. And I've just been hesitating to turn it. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Let's hope it turns out. So I'm going to get it mounted back on the worm screw. And we'll see what we can make out of it. So I'll start with a 5 8 bowl gouge and just clean it back up and we'll go from there. Got about 680 RPM. Finished cleaning the surface up and we'll have another look at it.
You go ahead and work on this top rim up here and see if I can come up with a shape and I want to go from this way, less likely to chip the bark. 740 RPM. I'm not liking this uh, acute angle that I have right here. Plus I have this crack that looks like it only goes in there maybe a half inch. So maybe I'm going to solve two things at once. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this off. It's actually pretty smooth. So I'm going to grab my negative brake scraper and see if we can get it even smoother. Okay, I did a, a bit of re-blending right here, and I think I like it, so it's ready to sand. Alright, I'll set the sand. I'll be using a 2 inch disc, starting with 80 grit, and working through 400. I'll sand in reverse at about 400, and I'll get my dust collector turned on and face mask on, and we'll get going. I got it all sanded up and I flipped it around and it runs really nice. I'm really happy with that. But it is getting late in the day so I'm going to stop for now and I'll be back on it tomorrow morning. Alright, it is the next day and it's time to go ahead and finish the inside. We start out about 760 RPM. 3 8 bowl gouge. Got some interesting things going on down here, and I'm not sure. It almost looks like it's maybe a knot, or there's something going on. A rotted area. I'm not sure, but we'll be cutting through that. I'm going to cut a little more of the wall running the lathe in reverse because I can reach it a little bit better. It's 
I'm going to switch back to this side now and turn forward. But I have two big knots. There's one here, there's one there, and they're really hard. And it just uh, didn't seem to like my gouges very well. So I'm going to switch to my carbide hollower. And I think we can get rid of that pretty easy. We're going to be going forward, like I said, at 860 RPM. Okay. I'd say we can go ahead and sand this, so let me get set up and we will do that. Alright, I am ready to sand, but before I start doing it under power, these two knots here could use a little bit of attention, so I'll just sand those before I start spinning the lathe. And I'm going to start with 80 grit with the 2 inch disc, and I'll work my way to 400. When I get finished with that, it'll be time to put the finish on. Do those areas like this. Now I'll sand it going forward 350 RPM. And that's going to be pretty easy. So I'll see you soon. We'll get a finish on it. All right, I've decided on a finish and it will be shellac. So I'll start with shellac based sanding sealer. I'm going to go ahead and show you on the outside because I haven't finished it at all. Because it's easier to see the outside than the inside for sure. So I'll just be wiping this on like this. Look how pretty that wood is. And that bark is going to look nice. Okay, so on the bark, I'll use this brush and just paint it on. And now you can see I've kind of got some on the inside, so let's go ahead and Get a little bit in there and I'll wipe that in. Okay, I think this might only take two coats of, of the sealer and then probably two coats of shellac. Okay, it's time to remove this tenon and I've got a piece of the padded material in the bowl and I've got a little block in my chuck. I'll just bring up the tail stock. See how it runs. Pretty good. Start out with a half inch bowl gouge. Maybe about 600 RPM. I'm going to switch to a spindle detail gouge so we can get it in there a little closer. That's down to about an eighth of an inch now. So I just turn that by hand and cut it off. 
So I'll get this rest of this little nub sanded off and get some finish on it. I'll be right back and show you what we have. Well here it is. And yes, I put a lot of effort into finishing this. But I didn't want to not finish it because it was a special gift. And I'm sure glad I did. And it did have some big cracks that I saw them at the beginning and it got worse as I started turning it. So I poured epoxy down this big crack and it traveled all the way down to what ends up being the top of the bowl. And it filled the cracks in the pit. Now that was a rotted area and I used coffee grounds and CA glue. But you can see how it filled it here and just everywhere. It just did a good job. Maybe it would have held together but I didn't want to take that chance. So it finished six and a half inches in diameter. It's four and a half inches tall and the base is four. And it's got lots of little black knots in there. They look nice. And this bark on here is really dark and it's very rugged feeling. I like that a lot. I used two coats of shellac based sanding sealer and two coats of shellac. And I think it really makes this black oak look extra nice. This is different than any other oak that I've turned. It's, it's really pretty. So, oh, I'm really happy that I did put the effort into this and I did get it finished. And a special thanks to David for sending me this beautiful piece of black oak. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and click that like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And for those of you who are, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. It would also be great if you could share my videos around. Leave a comment. I read them all. Thanks again, and until the next time, see you later.